Uh, before we get started, how are you planning on paying for the session? Sweetie? How much is it? $300. 300 dollars 300 Mm-hmm. <laughs> Whatever it takes, yeah? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. I, I, I do hope you don't think I'm always as jumpy as this, but this is not easy for me, Doctor. Naturally, these things aren't easy. I understand. Won't you sit down, Miss Simmons? I don't have to lie down, do I? No. Yeah, let's do it. I'm pumped. Let's let the healing begin. Why don't I start? Huh? The simplest way to put it? I have problems. Uh, I worry about diseases, so uh, I have trouble touching things. Uh, in public places, it's, it's uh, almost impossible. I have a real big problem moving. Talk about moving. As long as I'm in my apartment, I'm okay. But when I want to go out, I get weird. Talk about weird. Talk about weird. Well, I get dizzy spells, nausea, cold sweats, hot sweats, fever blisters, difficulty breathing, difficulty swallowing, blurred vision, involuntary trembling, dead hands, numb lips, fingernail sensitivity. Pelvic discomfort. And that's why yellow makes me sad, I think. That's interesting. You know what makes me sad? You do! Maybe we should chug on over to Mamby Pamby land where maybe we can find some self confidence for you, you jack wagon! Tissue? Cry, right, baby. I'm still having these dreams, Doctor, and I still can't stop myself from believing them. I've told you, Mr. Hostetter. To believe in one's dreams is a manifestation of insanity, and the sooner you accept this, the sooner you'll get well. Are you going somewhere with this, Doctor? You need me to point out your faults, Charlie Brown. It's for your own good. Besides, I can do it for you better than anyone else. Adam, I'm going to show you three numbers, and I want you to tell me if you see any similarity between them. <laughs> They're all number three. No, try again. They're all number three? No, they're all number three. <laughs> right, now, I'm, I'm going to say a word, and I want you to say the first thing that comes into your head. How many pints do you want? Uh, three. Yoghurt? No. Cream? No. Eggs? No. Right, well, you're quite clearly suffering from a repressive libido complex, probably the result of a product of a unhappy childhood, coupled with acute insecurity in adolescence, which has resulted in an attenuation of the libido complex. Actually, it's, it's quite, you know, typical behaviour when you have this kind of dysfunctional group dynamic you know this kind of codependent emotionally stunted sitting in your stupid coffee house with your stupid big cups which i'm sorry might as well have nipples on them and you're all like oh define me define me love me i need love i will end you i will fucking end you got the chief Am I in the right office? Not anymore, you're not. I've got deviance to see and a novel to finish. Now, scoot. But then I got to Dr. Shapiro's office, and he started peppering me with all these questions, and I just got more and more upset. Then I exploded all over the place. I went through two boxes of Kleenex. I started hyperventilating, and I had to breathe into a paper bag. Do you believe him? I believe who? Logan, you believe he loves you? I don't know. I guess I can figure that out next week in therapy. What? After my little meltdown, Dr. Shapiro thinks I should come see him once a week for the next two months. You're kidding. There are no jokes in the mental health field. Only hand puppets, ink blots, and inflatable anger bats. I'm so sorry. You're a nut. That's okay. I'm sure Dr. Shapiro has a nice padded room for me. You know, I do have a few degrees. And I went to a bunch of really expensive schools. Anyway, I'm not buying any of the that you two are selling today. Now, if you want me to report back to the court that you're both working on your marriage, you're going to actually have to do that. You're an orphan, right?
Do you think I know the first thing about how hard your life has been, how you feel, who you are? Because I read Oliver Twist. Does that encapsulate you? Personally, I don't give it about all that, because you know what? I can't learn anything from you. I can't read in some book. Unless you want to talk about you, who you are. And I'm fascinated. I'm in. But you don't want to do that, do you, sport? You're terrified of what you might say. You move, Chief. Look, I know that I have to do this, and I'll cooperate, and I'll look at your ink blots and everything, but I don't want to talk about my life or my childhood or anything for that matter, actually. And, uh, I don't want to be friends here. We're not going to be friends. You have friends already, I hope. I mean, friends are a good thing. Hmm? They like you, agree with you, tell you what you want to hear. It's not what you need right now. What you need is a trained, not too crazy professional who will always give you his honest opinion. Which I offer you. Have a seat. Not too crazy. So your credentials? Look, Buffy, any person, grown up, shrink, pope, any person who claims to be totally sane is either lying or not very bright. I mean, everyone has problems. Everybody has demons, right? I say I'm with you on that. Excellent. So the hope I bring you is demons can be fought. People can change. You can change. You're very good. Well, this isn't an exact science. 